welcome to the Harris Organ at First Friends Church in Whittier. This is the third of an 11 week series of videos exploring 10 individual voices or stops of this organ. I will give a little background, show you the pipes, and play a little music featuring that stop. Today we will look at the Bourdon 8 in the swell division, which is right behind me. Derived from the German word brummen, to hum or drone, Bourdon is defined as a drone, a sustained tone, or a sonorous foundation for a melody. A bourdon is a stopped flute with a dark tone, strong in fundamental with little overtone development. The pipes can be wood or metal. Our organ has some of both. Each pipe has a stopper or cap that effectively doubles the speaking length of the pipe and lowers the pitch by an octave compared to an open pipe. Low C of an eight foot bourdon is approximately four feet in length. Where there are height restrictions in a organ installation, stopped pipes can be very useful. Bourdons are most often found as 16 foot pedal stops, where it is, where it's somewhat dull tone gives support to the manuals and is blendable with other stops without changing their character while adding gravity and fullness. In France, bourdons may be found in the manuals also, as well as the pedal, and the term is used generically to indicate a rank of stopped flute pipes. The English equivalent is stopped diapason, and the German would be gedeckt. In our organ, the bourdon is found in the swell division as a rank that plays at 16 foot and 8 foot, and is also available in the pedal at 16 foot pitch. Hello and welcome to the Swell Division of the organ at First Friends Church in Whittier. Over here you will see some wooden pipes. These are, some of these pipes are for the stop that we're going to examine this week, which is Bordeaux 8 foot. The lowest 12 notes are that, those uh, make the notes so that it can be a 16 foot stop and sound an octave lower. Um, but this week we're going to look at the eight foot stop, which consists of these, this, this row of pipes here, starting here, and the row of pipes that is here, that you can see they have caps. This is about half of the wind chest. I'll turn the camera so you can see the other side, but it looks similarly. Um, these pipes are stoppered. The wooden ones have a, a stopper that has uh, leather around it so that it will make a tight seal at the top. The handles are so that you can move the stopper up and down in order to tune the pipe. The metal ones have a metal cap with a, a piece of felt that uh, goes on the edge of it and seals the cap to the pipe. Notice that these pipes have a large open toe. It's fairly deep. The speaking length is from here to there. And you'll notice here we have our mouth and this pipe happens, these pipes happen to have ears which helps focus the wind stream and keep it focused across the uh, mouth. The, the air comes up through the toe, through this narrow windway, 
and then the upper lip of the pipe splits the air stream and allows some of the air to vibrate within this column here, which that actually is what produces the tone. Because it has a stopper, it sounds one octave lower than an equivalent open pipe would sound. Here's what this one sounds like. Compared to the principle that we looked at last week, this pipe produces a tone that is basically the fundamental sound, the basic foundation of the, of the, the note for this, this um, pipe has little of the brightness of the harmonics that uh, produce the brighter tone of a principal or the even brighter tone of a string stop. This stop is a kind of a chameleon stop and it can be used to blend with other sounds and give weight and gravity to those sounds without changing their color. pipe just stands on the wind chest and it has a rack board with holes that hold it upright. Otherwise it's just standing on its toe. Here's a view towards the other side of the chamber. You, you'll notice the ones with the cap on the top of the pipe that's shiny. Those are the Bourdon pipes. And the wooden pipes against the wall um, continue down into the lower octave of the stop. Here's another view. The piece I'm going to play is called Musette, and the composer is Leon Berlman. So this has been our exploration of the Bourdon 8-foot, a very useful stop. I hope you have found it interesting and have learned something new. Please feel free to post comments or questions below and check the next e-news for a link to next week's video, which will be about the Gamba 8-foot. Thank you for watching.